Welcome to 843 TV. I'm your host, Lisa Richardson. Today we have a special show for you. We're coming to you from the Encompass Health Inpatient Rehab Center out in Okatee. We're going to be learning all about the wonderful facility and all the resources they have here. First up, we'll be talking with Renee Bannon, the Business Development Director, along with the new CEO, Rick Molina. Then we'll be talking with the therapy team, Caitlin Motes and Megan Blessinger, and checking out some of the remarkable equipment that they've got to help with patients. Finally, we'll be talking with the nursing staff, Amy Whitus and Haley Kamen. Stick around for this episode of 843 TV, where communities come to speak. Eight Four Three TV, where the Low Country comes to speak. Eight Four Three TV, where communities come to speak. We're excited to be back at Encompass Health for today's episode of 843 TV, and we're going to be talking with Renee Bannon and the new CEO, Ricky Molino. Nice to have us come out again. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. We're really, really excited to have you here with us again, visiting and, our hospital. Yeah, we always learn some wonderful things happening. And as you just closed 2019, new decade now, just tell us how the last year wrapped up for you. Yeah, so it's been a very exciting year for us. We've kind of come through a lot uh, heading into our second year. And, uh, you know, we've seen a lot of patients. We've uh, served over, you know, 700 patients wow. um, last year. And we're just really excited and, and proud to be a part of the community here that we serve mm -hmm. um, and, and to be, um, you know, one of the state-of-the-art uh, rehabilitation hospitals in the area. And when, I know later in the show, we're going to be seeing some of the equipment you have and talking with some of the, the therapists, but it's a big time. February is the American Heart Association Heart Month. Let's talk about some of the things that you've got planned. Yeah, so we'll have a lot of festivities in-house here celebrating Heart Month. That's a big deal for us. We have a, a national sponsorship with the American Heart Association and Stroke Association mm -hmm. um, nationwide. So that's that's a big deal for us. We have a, um, a we're very proud of our stroke program. Um, so we work very closely with the local chapter of the American Heart Association, and we will be one of the sponsors. Uh, representing our hospital at the uh, Heart Ball that's coming up uh, February the 8th. Yes. So and very excited it's about a that. Wonderful event and so forth. Mr. Molina, yes. welcome to the uh, Low Country. Thank you so much. You thank shared you. that you are actually a native of the West Coast and yes. live in a lot of areas. Tell us about yourself. Sure, yeah. So I've been all over the West Coast. Uh, I was born in, uh, in Texas and lived for a long, long part in Roswell, New Mexico. Uh, joined the military, served in the Marines for a little while, and got into healthcare as a patient first and has been fortunate to transition into rehab now, and so I was excited to come out here and been here for about four months now. Yeah, and tell us some things that you love about Encompass Health. What, what draw you, drew you to it? Oh, Encompass Health. So it's, it's a national, it's a nationwide network. So mm -hmm. we represent, we cover uh, probably about a hundred, hundreds, thousands and thousands of patient encounters, honestly, over the course of the year. Mm -hmm. It's a great network, it's an expanding network. It is very unique to communities like the one we're in right here. So we provide mm -hmm. a service that is very specialized. We focus on the therapy. It's not an ancillary service. It is the reason patients come in. Mm -hmm. uh, and partnerships like the American Heart Association uh, really just give us a platform to talk to the community and say why we really want to get you into this facility if and when you ha uh, have a stroke. Yeah. This particular facility is coming up on two years now. Yes. And it's been great to, mm -hmm. to be out here so many times. Yes. What are some visions, some ideas you have for this coming up in this next year? It, you know, it's, a lot of it is community driven, truthfully. Uh, mm -hmm. What we're trying to do is the second year right now, so hospitals like ours, uh, we've got our own growing pains. You know, we're really trying to find the right talent still, so we're heavily recruiting for people. Um, in the second year, I'd expect us to really reach out to the community, like events like this, get the word out. Um, we are a new service entirely to this county. And mm -hmm. so what we're trying to do is make sure people understand what we're here for, how to use us. Uh, in the unfortunate event, you do need a therapy service like this. You know, we're, we're right here, we're local. Uh, before mm -hmm. us, uh, you really have to travel for some of that. And, mm -hmm. and it's a hardship on the families. Um, you got to figure out daycare and take time off of work and things like that. So being local, you know, we can support in a number of ways. So I hope 2020 just results in a lot mm -hmm. of community partnerships. Uh, we work well with the medical community in this area and we just, we just want to kind of figure out our role in that and, and prepare the community for better care. 
And there's quite a medical community in this area, isn't there? Yes. There's just so many new hospitals and facilities mm -hmm. coming up yeah. there. And so share with us maybe how you're working with them in partnerships. Yes, and so one of the exciting things actually that's going to be highlighted at the Heart Ball that we're attending is that the, one of the patients that we all served is going to be honored at the Heart Ball. Oh. And so um, the patient was actually treated in a number of ways within the community. So he was, he was actually resuscitated on site of one of the local uh, 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 restaurants, brought of course to one of the local EDs uh, by EMS, and then he was treated and had surgery by one of the renowned um, cardiothoracic surgeons here. And then he came to our hospital to complete his recovery and, and do his rehabilitation. So what's really nice about that, of course, is that he was able to get all of this treatment and rehabilitation mm -hmm. uh, that went to his recovery right here um, in our local community. So that's very exciting. Yeah, absolutely. Talk about working together. Yeah, <laughs> sure. Yes, yes yeah. exactly. No, it's a great experience for us. So, and, and we have numerous stories like that. We actually, this area, as you know, is a very tourist uh, yes. type place, right? Mm -hmm. So it's great for the economy, but unfortunately, sometimes things happen when you're not planning. And so, similarly, we've had patients come in and receive some therapy that they probably wouldn't have gotten otherwise. They might have been shipped mm -hmm. elsewhere or had to seek care outside of their outside of this local area. And, and so, again, it's just. It's bringing a service mm -hmm. in, um, great success stories. We try to invite our patients back in uh, and just get a, a kind of a social status check with some of our other patients yeah. who just are going through that rough time. Uh, yeah. And they can relate to somebody who's been there, survived it, and improved through therapy. And so yeah. it's just great stories. And actually, what you mentioned, one of the times you were here previously, we got to meet a patient who okay. was in that situation. He was uh, here on vacation. Yes, And he exactly. had full treatment here, so it was a, what a wonderful story. But yeah. as we wrap up, any last thoughts you'd want to, to share? with the audience? Well, I'm just excited for during this show that you're going to get meet some of the additional mm -hmm. team members that we haven't had been able to highlight. Um, you know, so you're going to get to hear from the folks that are really on ground zero with the patients, mm -hmm. you know, helping them uh, reach their goals and, and get to those really outstanding uh, outcomes that we're proud to say that we have. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, no, I just elaborate on that. I think our nursing and therapy team is probably second to none, and I say that proudly. Mm -hmm. um, I did come on at a later time in, in September, but it was easy to see the traction had already been there. And so our team is really just gearing up. We got some equipment here that is very unique to our setting. So looking to just, you know, get the word out. We want to make sure people know what's around here. Yeah, and we're going to be checking out some of that equipment yes. that's unique to the facility here. So you all stay right here. We're going to be back with more 843 TV.